When my friends and family finally took, my sister in particular and good friends, knocked down my hotel wall and sent me to the said, if you don't go to this doctor, this specialist, we're through with you. Right. We don't want to see you die. I did go, but I w I, there was no way when I was in that doctor's office 21 years plus years ago that I thought that I could go every day, you know, yeah, and that's and, and so I wasn't ready. Yeah. They shipped me off to Hazelden. Yeah. I bolted in two days because mm -hmm. I was ashamed that people recognized me. Still wasn't, still, it was the disease saying, you don't want to stop drinking and doing blow. Right. Then I, 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 I entered different pr uh, programs at home and, and self-help groups, and I still slipped. And then the second slip was the, my bottom, what I held, held up in my, uh, hold up rather, in my home for mm -hmm. a week doing crystal meth, and people coming over said, you're going to die if you don't stop. And then I, I looked in the mirror and I go, I'm, I'm, I don't want to die putting this crap up my nose. And I called friends and they took me to the hospital and that was it, August 4th, 1994. But it takes a long, it, you really have to be ready to want to say I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired because I couldn't yeah. take it anymore. My life was totally, you know, our lives are out of control. And people know when you're, you'll, you know when your life is unmanageable. And when you know that, there, funny, are, there are answers out there. Yeah.